Hello everybody and welcome to the first Blood Bowl 2018 World Cup round of 16 match between Wenteros and Crystal Hunter. Wenteros with the Wood Owls won the coin toss and chose to kick. Crystal Hunter with the Humans. Uh, Crystal Hunter is Dutch and has a 63% win rate in Champs Ladder and qualified through Champs Ladder and makes a Kaz in the first block. <laughs> Very good. Um, Wenteros has a 74% win rate in Champs Ladder and qualified from the Russian Blood Bowl League. So I imagine he's Russian, but I don't. Uh, it's unconfirmed. Um, I like his. I like Wenteros's decision to kick. It's, it's what you know. He gets to defend with 11 players, though actually 10. It's it's you know it's what I would always do in this situation, just to you know see if you can get the turnover and basically win. Because you're the best chance at turnover because you've got the most most number of players, haven't you, at the start of the drive. So I like that. Um, his skills that he's given after the first round. First round he took a guard with a double. And then for this match, he's taken a... Uh, a sure hands catcher. Now, he said... It's because if he wants to recover the ball in a tackle zone, he's got a free reroll. But to me, that's win more. I, I really don't like that. Really, really don't like the sure hands catcher. Um, purely because it's win more. I'd rather like have a. He knew he was up against sure hands, so I would have gone wrestle for hundred percent. Because Crystal Hunter, as you would expect, um, after his first win, he took guard on the catcher. And after his second win with a normal, he took block on the throw. So now he's got block show hands. So he's very, very strong in terms of getting sacked, isn't he? And um, you know, you would have to think he's gonna. He's got a good chance. He could have taken more guard. He could have taken mighty bonus tackle. So I guess you know, not necessarily that he's. He could have taken block on a catcher. It wasn't hundred percent guaranteed to have. Uh, have a block ball, block show hands ball carrier, but. I think it's just too good the chance to have the uh, wrestle. I think maybe this catcher could have um, screened off over here. Uh, of course, not saying that it's wrong. <laughs> Basing a guard's good, you know. Um, it's not easy for him to block you because he's kind of split, but he's left it. He's left a big space here, hasn't he? Whereas if that catcher was there, the blitz would have had to come on the catcher. Um, you know, but maybe he didn't want that because it wouldn't have taken any any assists. Whereas this way, it's taken assist to blitz the catcher. It's taken assist to blitz the dancer. So you know, maybe he maybe that's why I did it. But I I would have rather seen more stuff over here because I feel like that was giving Crystal Hunter the chance to cage around here. Um, but yeah, may, maybe actually forcing him to commit assist to make the block is maybe better a better bit. So there you go. Tree getting knocked down. So he's got the full the full cage. He's going for the dodge foul, isn't he? No he's not. Oh man, dodge foul, two assist. Probably not worth it. Twelve plays for the humans. Um both teams have an apple. Only two rerolls for the woodies, so they can't do can't go crazy on things. I didn't like I think he had him too far back last turn. I think he's gone too far back this turn as well. Uh, there's just no reason to have him this far back. Because Crystal Hunter can't break. He's got a catch. He can break to here, but he can't protect him. So there really is no reason having that far back. Although it's funny because he's called fearless leader. <laughs> I mean, I think the frenzy dance is interesting. I don't think the frenzy dance is uh, bad. It's not something most people would go with, but um, it can be pretty good having a frenzy guy, can't it? So yeah, he's basing up the cage a bit here. And he has now intersected the team a little bit. So he goes for a 2 plus dodge there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So I guess the idea was to base this guy and that's why he felt he had to make the dodge. Maybe he should have made the GFI instead. Maybe he's going to GFI as well. Maybe he's going to try and go here. But, you know, again, this guy is just... I don't know. We'll, we'll, we'll see anyway. <laughs> So that was a little bit unlucky to 1 in 6 that wasn't it, it wasn't a 1 in 36, just a 1 in 6. I think I would have maybe just had him here just so that he was standing. 
easy to say that now, of course, after the two plus fails. But this is scary for Crystal Hunter because he's got to make either a loner block. Yeah, which he does. Which has a block. I mean, that isn't so scary. Um, he's going to have to make a dodge here. Without dodge, isn't he? Two rerolls left. And, and this here is why I didn't use humans because, you know, on critical turns, it's a one in nine chance. And I'd rather that was. A 1 in 36 chance. So this is an easy 2 dice on the ball. Cancel the assist with a catcher. And then come in for 2 dice. You could even put the guard there so it, and then you could use Frenzy. But because he had this guy so far back, he GFIs to cancel. Um, and double ones. Now, the, the reason that he did it was of course so that when he went, when he when the ball came out, he'd have the sure hands and like a pass or a handoff to this catcher, not in a tackle zone. But realistically, I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know, he could have done that without rolls. I don't think you want to give yourself a two plus before, before the two dice like that. Um, but yeah, if you, if you just not had him for so that that's the thing. You know, that's bad luck, isn't it? That's a one in thirty six fail. But the fa the real failure was on turns. 1, 2, and 3. Oh, no, well, sorry, there was a riot, wasn't there? Uh, so on turns 2 and 3, where he had him too far back, if he was one square closer, he wouldn't have had to make that GFI, and he would have had two dice on the ball, and who knows what would have happened. So, you know, this is this is one of the things where I'm sure Wentross realised, you know, that. But someone who was new to Blood Bowl would think, oh, I was so unlucky there, whereas really, he could have still done it without making dice rolls. And if you had just if you just had him a little bit forward, you wouldn't have had to make that. So that has left that has let Crystal Hunter off the hook a bit here. Um, we can get forward a little bit, but it's still scary. It's still like really scary because it only takes the Wood Elves rolling a few dice, and they're another shot again. So now time for another huge one in nine, is it? Because I think he really needs that cage gone, otherwise you just leap it. Yeah. So <laughs> you know, so he failed he failed the first crucial one in nine, but he passed the second. And didn't have to use his last re-roll, so Oh well look, the tree has a standing up animation. And I never knew that. <laughs> And you know, with that not having the guard, there's a chance of one dice on the ball, but um, there's also the chance just to play kind of safe and knock somebody down and, and try to dodge people back to get like a, a kind of more conventional defense going. I really like uh, standing these two people up before doing anything here. I think you're committed. He's used his reroll, so now this is just alignment for the rest of the half. So I think standing these two up, even before making this 1 in 36 dodge or the two dice with him, um, you know, m much less the two plus there. I think maybe standing these guys up because, you know, he's got three guys in the way here. This isn't easy. So allowing three people freedom of movement, um, I think that was. Yeah, I think that was a mistake, to be honest. It's still tricky, like, it's still tricky despite the fact that all three can move. So he was trying to go for the uh, chain to free up the ball carrier there. I think it was a little bit greedy. As it happened, he got the ball down, which is what he needed, but... Um, yeah, it's... Oh, he got in his way, changed his mind, now he's going to activate the ogre. Well, <laughs> that was, uh, that was something, wasn't it? I mean, if that, if that ogre had boneheaded, that was basically one in six to, uh, to have very bad things happen, but you know, again, that's not hating Grizzle Hunter. That's just the nature of 
humans kind of not being as good, isn't it? So looks like he's going to go for the one dice on the over. Oh, yes. Dodge in and then frenzy into two dice. So if he'd got the push um, on the first block dice, it would have pushed him into two dice blocks of the guard. Yeah. Yeah, hitting the ball from the back. Yeah. That's good. Now here he goes for the he goes for the ogre hit here. Um and this gets him into trouble because now he's got the show hands for the recovery. Um but he's got no screen or anything, has he? And and while obviously this was harder, making four plus dodge, three plus dodge and four plus pickup. Had he not oh I didn't like that GFI. Had he not gone for that block, um this catcher could have screened here. Dancer could have screened there and the ball could have gone here or something. So that might have been a better play. Um, ball here. Dancer there, catcher there, something like that. But, you know, as it was, he, he kind of felt that he had to run away. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm totally... I was totally thinking he was going to block the ogre first and then get in that way. But, yeah, just a four plus dodge with a dodge was pretty easy, wasn't it? Um, so now he does bone head finally. And Blitz has kind of shut these two down. Yeah, okay. Maybe he could have run him back as well to cover the ball. Um, fails the pickup. And okay, that was actually technically rolled the double one, but it was a one in nine um, to fail. Uh, and now, if you roll some dice, Wenteros, he's in, he's in a dominant position again, isn't he? Gets a cheeky cast. So two two off for each each team. So he did go for the risky three plus dodge, three plus two plus, um, and gets the power as well and the AV rig. So that went as luckily as it could have done for him. <laughs> but he's only got one turn left, so he's 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 got one scoring threat. He could three plus two plus out to make another scoring threat. Um, but. Going through here, that, that's fair enough because you know this guy, this guy could, this blitzer could have gone one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, GFI, GFI, and then this catcher could have gone down to score. So I did like the uh, making the ball safe, um, and of course Crystal Hunter giving up on the score and going for the scoring threat. I think is absolutely the right play there. So yeah, successful defense for the Woodies. Obviously they would have rather been one nil up. But um, stalling out nil nil is all they need to do, isn't it? And now they they'll be receiving and hoping for a one nil win. And um, yeah, that could that could be it. And uh, the uh, one thing, to be honest, I I really don't like how how Chris Luna has split his tackle and his guard, his mighty blow. Although it gave him options going deeper into the tournament, I think having tackle and mighty blow on the same guy would have been pretty useful for like blitzing catchers and uh, dancers. You know, I, there was a certain versatility to his build, but I think that's being optimistic, isn't it? You know, where uh, everyone's good, there's no easy matches, and there's so many dice involved in winning your games. Maybe, maybe that was a little bit. But then on the other hand, not all of his eggs are in one basket, but I don't know. It's certainly not why he lost anyway. <laughs> well, why he failed the score. But it's looking, it's looking bad, isn't it? You know, I don't know. It's it's hard. You can argue a death about what which picks are better and stuff, can't you? At the end of the day, like, did did Winteros win win his first two games because of this uh, frenzy dancer? 
I don't know. Do, does it make it good or bad? Can you can you judge anything from the results of the game, seeing as there's so few? I don't think so. I don't think you can really draw any conclusions. I know there's stats of like, you know, X amount of teams of race in the first round and the second round and, and all this, but, you know, really, it, there's so many dice and everything and... And everyone's so close together, like, even if even if you could rank the top, the last 16, by how good they are, I don't think there'd be a sizable advantage between the best and the worst, really. You know, if you could, if you could, you know, objectively measure them somehow, I don't think there'd be a huge, a huge disparity. So, really, anybody, anybody of the last 16 can still win. Um, but obviously, Wentros has a huge advantage in this game now stopping the score but then he was able to defend with 11 which is a luxury well 10 which was a luxury that some of us didn't get in the uh, <laughs> in the second round and you know he's he's got two guys out so now it's 10 versus 10 and uh you know crystal hunter he's he watches the stream a fair amount and he was saying how he wanted armor 8 with with an apple well okay you've got it you've got it mate but look you're on 10 players anyway and and that's it, you know, it's it's really like I really don't think you can put too much into you know, reliability or anything. I mean would else have the reliable two plus actions with the ball instead of three plus actions with the ball? Or with dodging, so there's a certain amount of reliability there, isn't there? I think anybody see this this frenzy was a bit bad there, wasn't it? But it's getting more knockdown, so you know, you can't say that Frenzy's wrong or anything. You can't say any of his picks are wrong, but I thought... I mean, the sure hand gives him the reroll on the pickup here, which is something, isn't it? I feel like maybe if he wins this game, then he's playing the winner of Wolf Bainson's versus to run, which is Woodells versus Orcs. So you're not really going to want sure hands on a catcher against the Woodell strip because he hasn't got block and I, unless he takes block as well I guess if he wins but yep so <laughs> Crystal Hunter using an apple on the KO there because he thinks correctly that he has to stop the Woodell scoring this drive um, or at least force them to score early so he absolutely has to have full full uh, as many plays as he can for this drive so I think that was a good apple even though it was just a crappy lineman in contact with a tree um, basically the worst play you'd ever want to apple. Um, it is it is turn nine, so he's getting a full, a full half's worth out of him, and this is the absolutely critical half for Crystal Hunter's tournament life, isn't it? So absolute apple there, hundred percent. Good apple. So yeah, I mean, Wenteros here. All he's got to do is basically screen off, hasn't he? I think he should go as wide as possible. Um, and, you know, so then, so that Crystal Hunter can't get behind him and kind of make it hard for his players to get out. I, I'm not such a fan of the Elf Storm, but... <laughs> I really hate the Elf Storm, even by Elves. But this is... Uh, yeah, so now he hasn't, he hasn't spread out. He's actually bunched up. I really don't like that, just for the, the sake of punching a tackler. Um, I think try, try to keep it as spread out as possible, and then all Chris Lunter can do is keep it spread out, and, and then, you know, if he, if he looks for an angle, you can go to the side, can't you? And again, by going so, so far back, he has got less options to swing around to one side or the other. I mean that wasn't ideal, was it? Because he's hit, although although he rolled a pow, and he was three dicing with mighty blow. You know maybe if the mighty blow tackler was one guy, he would have been doing something. So you know I, I don't know. I can, I kind of like it because it. I kind of like the split because then you can blitz with mighty blow or with tackle and stuff, and it keeps your options open for a piling on mighty blow or for a mighty blow tackler. But it means you can't have two mighty blow tackles. Well, you do. You can actually. 
Ornan's build meant that he couldn't have two mighty blow tacklers, which I think is what he needs against Amazons. Um, and he, he can't have that. So, yeah, there's pros and cons for this. Tackle doing a good job there. He does use the reroll, interestingly. Because that means he's only got two with having the apple. So that was a pretty pretty risky dodge in the end. Just to make a block as a guard and does nothing. Could surf here, could surf this guard catcher. But I feel like if he does, it it just allocates too many resources and he'll concede for sure. Uh, but then on the other hand, <laughs> on the other hand, you know, when Ross wants to score on turn 16, he doesn't want to even give the humans a two turn chance if he can help it. So maybe he could have surfed the guard catcher and then, or at least try, start with the three dice. And then, okay. He doesn't go for the surf. I think he could have done. Maybe he's going to blitz this this dancer there because if he got the knockdown he could have done. But he goes one in front, which is fine anyway. Bases the ball. Good old ball basing strats. Base the tree as well. Give the tree somebody a punch. I mean, it could fail, couldn't it? So it's not. It's not a terrible thing to do. Make him roll dice. So yeah, he could have made a dodge, but doesn't even want to try the one in 36 there. With only one reroll, he's basically got to play like he's got zero rerolls as well. Does go for the dodge that time. And he just goes for the punch? No. Okay. I thought he might just punch there, but... Yeah, so he's got a bit of a sideline cage going. Well, not really, a, it's not a sideline cage, but you know, really quite quite on one side there. Surprised he didn't make the second dodge. To get out of it. But again, it's taken up two players' actions, isn't it? Someone's got to assist and then he's got to block, so. It's still looking pretty decent, I think, for Wenteros. That bonehead was actually quite big, wasn't it? Double GFI to base the ball. Might have been something to be worth thinking about. <laughs> but even then, not really basing the ball. There's no real payoff because he's edge four <laughs> with dodge. So I guess you'd have just... What, moved him back or something? I don't know what he was going to do with him. But only five squares, he couldn't really go anywhere. I think maybe he's activating him last and go for a GFI or, or just move him diagonally back. He doesn't care about the thrower, especially as he's used his leader reroll. So he's just a. Uh, He's just dead now anyway. <laughs> he was just a uh, he was just a throw rookie thrower. Really. So you got tackle in, but again tackle on the ball is not that exciting. Um okay he's only got one reroll, but maybe he could have had him back here and there he does run someone in that space. I mean this isn't this isn't easy for uh for Wenteros to deal with to be fair. Could have tried for like a four plus surf there, four plus dodge surf. Easy to easy to think about what when you're uh, <laughs> when you're also that was a frenzy trap. So maybe he should have um, he should have put this dancer to there first, seeing as he's put him there. Oh no, he's gonna dodge. You know, maybe uh, maybe he should have put that dancer there before he made the blitz. Because getting if he surfs the dancer, you know, maybe that buys him enough time to to stall the rest of the drive. So makes all the dice rolls that turn, but yeah, maybe maybe that was key, eh? This tackle on the ball. 
If that tackle had been there, that would have stopped these two players coming in. Just an idea anyway, I'm certainly... Certainly not saying either player's done anything wrong. You know, I don't think anyone's really made... Well, no, Winteros too far back with his throw. Apart from that, though. Um, you know, it's just... It's just dice doing things, isn't it? Really, a little bit. Um, humans being outbashed, kind of. Like, not actually, but they started the second half at 10 each. And now they made another cast, so they are a man up. But, um... Actually saves the dancer a bit, doesn't it? Big dodge. He hasn't used any rerolls on, on defense here, Crystal Hunter, so if he gets to overtime, he's looking pretty happy. And this is a really tricky turn for Winteros. When he made this block, I thought, all right, he can, uh, he's going to, you know, cage up here, just run back a little bit. Um, but I believe he goes for the score. Which, you know, better to, better to score than not. <laughs> um, you know, well, if you score and they score back, obviously it's just the same as not scoring. But if you don't score and they turn you over, then that's really horrific. So, you know, he's got, he's got two turns and a re-roll. So he's kind of got a little bit of a chance to, to stop. Stop the score here with nine players, but um, he certainly won't be happy about defending this. And Crystal Hunter got to be pretty confident actually of making a three turn score and taking it to overtime. The only problem is uh, this thrower is still out, so he hasn't got any sure hands. So he's going to have to carry it on a non sure hands player. Um, and he does only have ten, although the Woodies have got nine, he's only got ten. And yeah, he can't. He can't carry with a sure hands guy. I quite like the tackle back. I would have liked it here, actually. Uh, you know, in case there's a blitz or something, I'm not sure about these catches being so far back. Or doing unsafe moves first, but... Never mind. I like getting the catcher into range straight away. I think I maybe would have had two catches in range and picked it up with a lineman here. Oh, wow. So, maybe what he should have done there, This is maybe this is a mistake by Chris Lunter. If he'd followed with a ogre there, he could have blocked with block and had this lineman free, but instead he used a reroll and they're both down. I guess his plan is to dodge away with this guy. Yeah. And now, the, 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 if the tree doesn't root, elves can flood, flood the backfield. Um, I guess blitzing. Oh, he does take root. <laughs> Classic. I think blitzing this catcher with the uh, tackle is the, the common sense thing to do. Does not hit him with a tackler. Absolute madman. <laughs> Have a block tackle frenzy guy, and you blitz with a different guy. Go 
Well, if he hadn't rooted there, he could have gone there. It would have been massive. But the reason that he didn't blitz with a tackle frenzy guy is so he could base the ball. And that's pretty good, isn't it? But how huge was that bonehead? Because it had bonehead take root. Because if he had moved like two squares to base the ogre, not only would he have got through without dodging or anything, um, he wouldn't have had any, anybody free to go for this this touchdown, which he pretty much has to go for, doesn't he? Dodge out. Pass. So two GFIs, to, so he has to make it like... Two GFIs to make it a three plus, so just going for the four plus is better. Makes it. Oh, <laughs> the trip wire. Absolutely brutal. Absolutely brutal. I could have easily been overtime there. It's still got a chance, he's not stunned. And you have to say whoever wins in whoever whoever wins in overtime, whoever receives in overtime is probably going to win. I really didn't like that dodge out first. I think, I would, you know, he's not doing anything. If you fail the pickup, I would have absolutely gone for the dodge out pickup first action. Quite like that. Um. Oh, this is him. Don't know why. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Could get an assist in. I think foul there is is the best play. I think GFI to here and foul. Um, but you GFI to there. I mean, you know, it's hard to say, isn't it? What what anybody's thinking or what? But I think if you go there, then this guy can dodge to blitz in. It's going to be an uphill because of the. the the, uh, the guard. He, I think uphilling with a catcher might have been alright. But he needs a 1 in 36. As it is, the guard guy dodges in, <laughs> fails, cases himself. And that is GG. So, yeah. Well done to Wenteros. I mean, I think really the only mistake, you know, that he made was probably keeping his thrower too far back. Um... So he had to make that GFI. You know, you can argue maybe he, he he shouldn't have made the GFI to assist on the sacking turn. But then on the other hand, there was payoff to it, wasn't there? So everything is risk versus reward. Um, by the same token, there's maybe one or two things Chris Hunter could have done differently. But overall, both played very well. And what the deciding factor was, 9 AV breaks versus 10, wasn't it? You know, if, uh, if what else can give us the good as they get in the bashing department... Um, from less blocks versus more armor <laughs> they're pretty hard to deal with um, so yeah I think there wasn't really anything there wasn't anything majorly on there it was really good I mean as you should probably expect in the last 16 of the World Cup very good game congrats to Wenteros thanks for watching if you enjoyed it don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and stay fantastic